Okay guys, I got this uh, 60 inch Samsung TV. Uh, the model is a UN60, F is in Frank, H is in Henry, 6200. UN60FH6200. And the problem with this set is we had a backlight problem. And I'm just going to do a quick video. I'm not going to go through the disassembly process. I just want to point out something that you may run into. Uh, if you want to check out the disassembly process on this TV for a backlight problem, uh, just look in the corner and tap on the little exclamation point. I'll put that video there as far as our breaking this down and checking the LEDs and putting it back together. Um, pretty much common set. Uh, but what happened was is I did um, change the, those are brand new strips in there now. Okay, uh, all 12 pieces and these are the old ones here. Now on the old ones, only about one or two LEDs lit up on each strip, right? So they only have about 10 LEDs that were actually lighting up with my meter, okay? Um, but otherwise, the TV would just, it had no picture, okay? The original symptom. And I did put my flashlight up to the screen uh, when I was in the customer's house, and of course, it was a backlight problem. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, when I changed all the strips, all 12 pieces, uh, six rows of strips, right? They come in uh, two pieces. I'm gonna plug it up. And um, I don't know if you can see this or not. Let me hit the light so you can see that. Okay, got all the lights off. So I'm gonna plug my TV cord in. And you're gonna see what I'm talking about, what happens. If I can see. Okay. And it flashes and that's about it. It's pretty much doing the same thing it was. At first only all these little LEDs weren't lit up or like they were because most of them were shorted. Okay, so then I flipped my TV around uh, like we got it right here. And then I thought, well maybe uh, I bent one of the pins when I was putting the strips in there or one of the connectors wasn't in there good and the good well how to check that is obviously just go right to the plug and check the whole entire strip okay there's two lines there's three strips on each line and they should be even I believe around 120 volts okay so I just use my LED checker and make sure that the boat just comes up and I can see the strips like so the strips lighting up through the back of the TV chassis okay plug here one side I'm gonna go negative positive as you can see it's 113 and I do see the back lights coming up through the TV and on the other one I should be getting approximately the same reading And I can't see that the TV is lighting up at 113 again. Okay, so let me know that my back lights are all connected and the back lights are all working. So the only possibility it could be is the power supply, correct? Yes. So maybe it's not getting the right voltage. Now I'm just gonna just show you what I did. I'm actually gonna grind my meter to the chassis ground and I'm gonna check those voltages on those pins. Plug my television in. It'll automatically come with power on. Come on. And I'm going to check this first one here.
168 volts. Let me just unplug it. See how that jumped up to 300. So we may have something loading this down. I'm not sure, but I'll just go through it. I'm gonna plug it back in. Okay, the TV should be powering up. Goes from 328 volts. See how it just jumped like that? That was not good. Okay, this is our return voltage. 104, and actually the LED plus for the other line should read the same thing because And then our, the very end is our um, return voltage or our voltage drop across the LEDs. But um, I don't know, it seems kind of weird. So anyway, what I did is actually remove the board of the power supply and just took a quick look, okay? Now actually on a board like this, um, you want to check things like um, your, you see this is the LED plug here, check things like the, the, the FET right here, okay, that I believe that drives the LEDs, these two FETs, okay, make sure these capacitors aren't bulged, the ones that are right on top here, make sure they're not bulged or bad, okay, that's another common problem. Check these diodes, as you see that's actually feeding. The LED circuit, all this is the LED circuit, it's a transformer that drives them. Okay, and I did check all those for a short. Um, there are no shorts on the FETs or the diodes. So, I'm, when I turned it around, okay, another thing you want to check also is um, these little surface mount FETs. FET stands for field effect transistor. You want to check things like that. And uh, but what I actually saw was this here. This is my plug for the LEDs. And as you can see right here, I've got three burnt up resistors. Look at that. One, two, three. They're burnt up, you can't even read them. Uh, they should look like this with the writing. Right? See any more on here? See the writing on the resistors? Okay. But these three are burnt up. And so, uh, I believe that's what happened because they was drawing too much current because only had like, you know, five, six, seven, ten LEDs would light up and the other ones were shorted. So I'm pretty sure it blew these uh, transistors, I'm sorry, these resistors up. Uh, as you can see, they are hooked up in parallel. I did notice that. Um, see down here, down here. So actually all I really need is one resistor, uh, probably about, of course, a little bigger. This is, this is like, a, I don't know, what, quarter watt, eight watt, um, you know, surface mount resistors. Just use a bigger one. And uh, I want to see if that solves the problem, but first we have to find out what the value of those resistors are. Now I did find a similar board. This is, uh, this is our original board right here. And this is another board uh, that I know works. It's from a 60 inch Samsung uh, TV, different model number. And I was gonna see if it was sub, but unfortunately when I look at the pins, the plug is the plug here going to the main board. Same here on our original ones on off to the side right there. This is the plug for LEDs, and this one is our plug right here. Um, unfortunately, I don't look at the legend right here. And just compared that to the other one, the pinouts on the pins, uh, there was some different stuff on there. And so I didn't want to damage it. And just so you know, the part number on this board is, this is out of our original set. It's a BN44-00669. A. Okay, that's the board that we would need. Okay, if we didn't want to, you know, we, we could you know, go through the resistor thing or whatever. And um, and this is our board out of the other set. This is a different model number. This is um, BN. 00775A. Okay, I think you've seen the video that I actually did on uh, this board here, um, or a board like that. 
So, uh, what I did notice is that when I flipped it around and see if they had the same setup on the on the actual plug. I'm gonna lay it down, see if I can zoom in like that. Okay, this plug right here is actually our this pin is actually our plus. Okay, um, I'm on the wrong board. Yeah, okay, I, I believe so. I'm not sure, but anyway. We see some resistors here and they look like D0. <laughs> okay, anyway, that's not gonna work. But anyway, um, they're actually reading like one ohm and they're also in parallel also as you can see. Okay, and that's going right to one of the, the pins uh, on the plug just like the other resistors were. Okay, so I'm just gonna assume that uh, all we need is about a one ohm resistor. Okay, and so what I'm gonna do actually is I'm going to put a one ohm resistor on there. Okay, and just so you know, all those re those resistors are open. And double check that. Okay. And since they're hooked in parallel, I can go to any one of them. One side, they all should be together. And I'm getting absolutely nothing, okay? That is totally open. Okay, so I actually want to get my uh, one ohm resistor. Uh, actually, I got a 1.9 ohm resistor to be on the safe side. I found that out that that is, that is a voltage coming in that is going to our plus line. Okay, uh, let's see where it's coming from. As a matter of fact, uh, that is going to yep our capacitor, our filter capacitor, positive side. Okay, right there. Okay, so I know that is the B plus line, and um, so if that's not lighting up correctly, uh, it's not going to come on. Okay, so I did find a resistor here. Now, quite naturally, the resistor is bigger, <laughs> so I can't put it on the bottom. Uh, of course, if you wanted to, you can use a smaller one or even get a surface mount one that's about one ohm or so, but. I'm just going to show you, you know, in case you don't have all that kind of stuff to work with, just get a resistor. This is 1.9 ohms. I'll show you. Or, yeah, 1.9. Actually, this is 1.8. Okay. Yep, 1.8 ohms. So, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Uh, one of my pins on the resistor, I'm going to solder it right there, and the other one's going to solder it right here on this one. Okay, as you can see, that's connected. Well, it's supposed to be if the, if the resistors were not open, but that's connected. And so all I'm going to do is take my resistor, and I'm going to kind of place it maybe right there. or And then I'm just going to cut this, this other side so it'll be even shorter. So I'm just solder it to the other side. So let's see if that's going to see there. This one is about right there. Put a little solder on each side again. Solder this side first. Just to make sure that's not touching. This is ground, so make sure that this is not touching. We have to put some electrical tape around there, around the around the leg part, or up under there, or around there. But I'm gonna be extra careful. I want to put this. Um, sorry, that ain't right there. Oops, got hot on me. Okay. Okay, and that way, uh, like I said, double check, make sure you're not. Ground and I'll double check that again with my I'll go across the resistors now. I should be getting 1.9 volts, right? Okay.
Okay? 1.8 volts. Same as a resistor. Okay? All right, so now we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and hold it in there. I did see that this was running extra hot, so it's kind of brown. So, like I said, when those LEDs shorted like shorts like that, it does pull a lot on the power supply uh, circuit that drives it. Okay, and uh, so let's try it in there, and I'm move this over make sure we can get our LED plug in there, and we'll see what happens. Another thing I like to mention on this set that's very important when doing this is to always disconnect this LD, it's called an LDVS cable, low voltage differential signal cable, and that's what drives the uh, TCOM board and then drives the actual screen through the circuits that these are connected to. Uh, so when you're testing these, just go ahead and unplug this, and um, before you even pull it apart, to get to the LEDs because what happens is if you go to test fire it up and have this plugged in still okay there's voltage coming through there and this goes for any TV okay this voltage coming through here going through TCOM board and guess what it's gonna be seeing the voltage out of these connectors right here they're metal I don't see that it's all metal and what happens is if you go to, if you go to move the TV while it's on and you're like okay I'm gonna make sure the LEDs came on and it touches, and if one of these wires touches the metal, you're gonna blow up your TCOM board and or your main board, okay? So just to be safe, always disconnect this. And another important fact on this TV that I've noticed, um, if, if you have this disconnected, when you, you know, repair or replace your LEDs and go ahead and turn it on, the LEDs are only gonna stay on for a couple minutes and then it's gonna get cut off. But you're gonna think the TV cut off, but the TV light still is still gonna be, you know, it's still the light's gonna be off still, like the TV is still on. And don't panic, it's because you have this unplugged, okay? So if you wanna check it again, just carefully, just plug it back in. Carefully make sure that you're not gonna move the TV or just even just pull these out. And, you know, you don't want just and then as you'll see it will stay on for a long period of time, okay? So there's nothing wrong with the LEDs or anything. But this has to be plugged in in order for it to stay on in order for the LEDs to stay lit for, you know, more than like two or three minutes, okay? Well, otherwise, as long as it comes on, everything lights up okay, I'm just gonna leave that disconnected because I want to show you guys uh, how this um, LED drive circuit kind of works. Okay, uh, this is our wire for LEDs, and of course, it's our resistor that we replaced uh, up under there. Um, so basically, this one wire next to the resistor, there's our B plus coming in, or our LED plus voltage coming in. And how this works is, there's no two separate plus voltages. What happens is, uh, there's a big voltage that comes through here, and then the return voltage from that strip, or that line, is connected to this one, to that plus voltage, and this uses that return voltage as a plus voltage to light up the next line. Okay, so the voltage is almost double. 
here. So it's really like almost like just like a single line. I don't know why they do that, but I just I don't I don't know. I should have figured that out, but um, so yeah. Anyway, so I guess I do it for safety reasons. So like I said, Bo just comes in here, goes to the strips on the one line, which is uh, three strips. Okay, so goes to the, the three strips. The return voltage or the voltage drop comes out of this black wire, but it is connected to this one. If you look on the circuit board at the back, it's, these are two are connected. Okay, and um, then there, then lights up the next three LED strips, and the return voltage goes back to the circuit. And let's double check. Show you. That's a pretty big hand. Okay. We'll go from this side. These two in the middle, this black one and the gray one, are connected. Okay. Uh, so just just to show you guys and to verify what I'm talking about, so you guys understand here, is this is our plug here. Uh, it's going into our LEDs. Okay, as you can see, this is a resistor that we replace. This is the B plus pin or LED plus. Okay, and the return on that line is here. Okay, and as you can see, there's a trace that goes from here to the next one. I'm charged with this one. There's no connection on that middle one. Okay, as you can see, there's a trace that goes from there to there. So that's the LED minus from the first line, and then that LED minus voltage feeds the second line, feeds the LED plus line, which is that line, and then the return pin is right here, and that's going through that way through these series of resistors here. Okay, um, so there's no separate circuit or anything tied to these two middle pins. Uh, they're pretty much all together. And I think the reason that they, that they actually do that is so if you get a shorter LED, uh, it won't turn the entire screen off or, all, or you know all the backlights off. Okay. And another way I'm going to actually show you and prove it to you, I'm going to do a voltage check across there. Uh, I'm going to light my um, first of all I'm going to ground my meter, my meter on DC volts. Okay, I can ground my meter, my negative lead on my meter anywhere on the chassis. I put it in this hole, so it's kind of convenient there. And just make sure that it is grounded. Okay, yes it is. I'm gonna put my meter, I'm sorry, I was on resistance. I'm gonna put my meter on DC volts. Okay, that's DC volts, All right? Okay, and I'm going to plug my TV set on. Okay, LEDs are lit, lit up uh, naturally, and I'm gonna go to that first pin. My resistor is at, matter of fact, let's check out the resistor, okay? I'm gonna go on there, and as you can see, that is 364 volts, and this pin should also be 364 volts, which it is, okay? Now my return pin, it's the black one, I'm gonna go on there, and that's return volts. So we got about 100 and, I don't know, 20, 30 volts going across that first line. Okay. And that's, so that's 231 volts on the return line for that first one. Okay. And now we're going to go to the B, the LED plus for the second line. That's the gray wire next to it. That's the same thing, 232 volts. Okay. Same voltage. And, when, and the return voltage is... 101 volts. You see that? So that's another 100 and, I don't know, another 130 volts going across that line. You just do the math, okay? Now here's the, even another way that might give you a little more ac accuracy, accuracy as far as what kind of voltage is going across each line. And but that way, the way you do that is to put your pin here and, and instead of rounding this, put it across here Put your meter on DC volts, check the voltage on that line, same thing. Plus to plus, LED plus, minus LED minus, that's the next line. And you should be getting almost the exact same reading. And we'll plug it right in again. I'm gonna go, 
Is it because I got this resistor uh, in the way right here? I'm just going to go to this pin right here, this leg on the resistor because it is tied into this first pin wire LED plus. And I'm going to go to the negative. And I have, as you can see, 131 volts, uh, just like I said. Okay. And go to the other line. Plus, plus. Make sure meters in DC volts, okay? Not resistance. Please don't do that. Okay, and put it in there. And that is also reading approximately 133 volts. Okay, so both lines are getting the same amount of voltage. So it looks like we are in pretty good shape. Got our TV put back together. So this is the ultimate test here. Powered on. TV, voila, the ultimate test of time. So the moral of this, of this uh, video is, if you have known good LEDs, whether you replace the single strip or you replace all of the LEDs and uh, the, you know the entire strips, and you know that they light up, they're good, you, you check them from the socket, and for some reason when you power the TV set on, it just the LEDs just blink or flash and they don't light up all the way fully. Uh, I've seen a lot of guys do this all the time. They think they order some bad strips, so they send it back and order some more. Um, no, you have a problem with the power supply board. If you're unsure, just unscrew the power supply board, turn it around, the socket where the LEDs plug in at, look at the trace on the back, and follow the LED plus trace, LED minus trace, I can almost, I can almost guarantee you, you will find something wrong, okay? Whether it's a shorted little surface mount transistor on, on the back of the board, or most likely you're going to see some open burnt resistors, and they, they're going to be physically damaged. You're, you're not going to get, uh, you know, that, that's, that's not, that's not going to get past you, okay? So anyway, anyway guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, as you can see right here. I put it in your face. I've got uh, plenty of videos on television repair. And uh, make sure that you uh, do subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys on the next one. Big dog out.